This paper is a little bit of a review and a maybe a little bit of new stuff. The first thing you're going to look at is solving by graphing, using a table and then using a graph. So if x equals negative 3, we're just going to plug that into the equation. Negative 3 squared is 9 minus 7, which gives me 2. Uh, if I plug in negative 2, I get 4. 4 minus 7 would give me negative 3. Plug in a negative 1. 1 minus 7 is going to give me a negative 6. A negative 2, negative 3. And 3, 2. Okay, so our parabola opens up, but it's been shifted down seven spaces. We're looking for where our y value is equal to 2. Um, and we'll see that our solutions then are x equals 3 and negative 3. We can also see that in the table. All right, this next one is very similar, so I'm going to let you do that one on your own. Um, these ones you're going to graph in Desmos. Okay, so you don't have to do the graphing by hand. You're going to look at Desmos, but you are going to... Um, find the solutions the, where the x values that make the y 0 here, the x values that make the y 5 here, and so on. And if there's no solution, you'll write that. These ones are solving by square roots, so again, you're going to isolate x squared and then take the square root. Now, of course, if it's w, then we would be isolating w squared. Alright, I'm going to add 20 to both sides. So I've got 5q squared equals 20. Divide both sides by 5. I've got q squared equals 4. So if I take the square root of both sides, I've got q equals either the positive square root of 4, which is 2, or the negative square root of 4, which is negative 2. Two solutions there. When you come here to creating a quadratic equation that has two solutions, some hints that I would think about. Think of um, what the graph might look like if there's going to be two solutions versus one solution versus no solution. That might be a good place to start. Okay. For these, when you're solving by factoring, remember to set equal to zero. Um, so for instance, for this one, you're going to have to add three to both sides first. And then you've got x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals zero. That's going to factor as x minus 1, x minus 3. And then you've got x minus 1 equals 0, or x minus 3 equals 0. So you've got x equals 1, and x equals 3. The rest I think you can handle on your own.